Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. In the previous video, I went over some um, cool reactions that are actually recently elucidated in humans. And it's how we can deal with and metabolize hydrogen sulfide. We actually get inorganic um, atomic sulfur. And I showed you how we can transform that into what I said was the use most usable form of sulfur in humans, and that's sulfate. Well, I mentioned at the end of that video I would show you how sulfate is assimilated into a form that's readily usable and transferable. And what we do is we have to take this sulfur and we have to make a molecule called PAPS. Okay, PAPS stands for phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate. And actually PAPS is this molecule down here. You can see this is the ribose ring. This is an adenine. We actually have a three prime phosphate. And then on the five prime phosphate, we actually have a sulfate attached there. So how do we make that? Well, it's a two-step process. The first reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called ATP sulfurylase. We start off with a molecule of ATP adenosine triphosphate and sulfate. And what's going to happen is the sulfate is going to attack the alpha phosphate. So that's this phosphate right here in my mouse's. And when it does so, it's going to perform an, uh, a substitution reaction and kick off this leaving group pyrophosphate. So what that effectively does is it transfers a sulfate onto the phosphate. So we should only have one phosphate remaining and the sulfate attached to it like we see here. This is actually adenosine 5 prime phosphosulfate. This molecule sometimes is abbreviated as APS, adenosine phosphosulfate. Um, it's unusual in the sense that normally there's a phosphate here, but we have a sulfate. This is the sulfate that's going to be transferred to various groups by enzymes called sulfotransferases, but we need to do one more step in order to get it into PAPS because this is just APS. And this is just a simple enzyme, APS kinase. APS kinase is going to use a phosphate from ATP and transfer it um, onto the three prime hydroxyl group of APS, and that's going to make this molecule called PAPS. Um, three prime phospho, adenosine, five prime phosphosulfate, or just PAPS is what most people call it. Um, now, we, there's a lot of reactions, particularly in the liver. So these are a lot of times hepatic reactions that transfer sulfates to various molecules. A lot of times those sulfate transfers are to make molecules more readily excretable um, by the kidneys. Um, and sometimes it can be for a matter of storage. Um, one great example of a molecule that's sulfated is estrogens. So estradiol and estrone, those are both sulfated. Also another male steroid called dehydroepiandrosterone or DHEA, is sulfated as well. In fact, sometimes when you buy DHEA in the store, it's actually already sulfated, okay? And sometimes this is done by the liver to excrete different things. There are other um, molecules, some toxins that can be sulfated because sulfate is a polar group and it can aid in something's excretion. And it must be pretty important to, for the liver to do that. It must be a very important process, um, seeing as in order to make one transferable sulfate, you have to use two ATPs. Think about it. You have to use one ATP as the scaffold for the sulfate transfer, and then you have to use another ATP to phosphorylate apps to make PAPs. So literally, to transfer one sulfate um, to make one PAPs, you have to use two ATP molecules. Okay? Um, it seems like an energetically expensive process, but for some of the sulfotransferases that we're going to talk about in the next video, um, it appears to be very important. So the cells are willing to use ATP twice to do this. Okay, so hopefully this gave you some intuition on how we assimilate sulfate and use it to make sulfate transfers. Okay, remember this is the molecule PAPS. This is what we're going to use for all sulfate transfers in humans. Join us in the next video where we talk about some specific sulfotransferase reactions. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.